In this clip, we're going to look at garage conversions. Garages are often wasted spaces. Many are not really big enough to fit a car in, and most are used for storage or pseudo-utility rooms. So it's often worth considering converting your garage to a room. It is possible to do the work yourself, but only if you're up to speed with all the building regulation requirements. You can either use a full plans application, where you'll need to get plans drawn up, or a building notice. A garage conversion turns a cold, damp outbuilding into a habitable living space, so quite a lot of work is needed. All parts of the building regulations apply. We need to make sure the structure is okay, and you'll need a foundation under any new walls. You'll need a good means of escape from the new room, and it needs to open off a hallway, otherwise it'll need an escape window and smoke alarms. The floor and walls will need treating to stop damp rising into the building. The new room will need an opening window, 1 20th of the floor area, and a trickle vent for background ventilation. Any new drainage to the room will need to be checked, and you'll need to insulate the new room by insulating the cavity walls or using dry lining and floor insulation and double glazing. You might need safety glazing. The electrical work will need certificates. Don't forget that in some case you might need planning permission, so it's best to check first. It's really very easy to make a building regulations application to your local council. It's usually very quick and you can even do it over the phone. You can call to book your commencement or your first visit and call the building control surveyor out at all the stages that they'll discuss with you. Don't forget to tell them when you finish the work and you'll get a completion certificate. So talk to building control about your garage conversion.